Uh, we are super excited to have a dynamic doubles duo from BYU Men's Tennis with us here. Wally Thane and Zach We Fuchs. wish we were as good of a duo as these guys are. It's true. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's <laughs> tough wish. to be. I mean, they, all they do, it feels like, is win. Like, know, we were we, just joking. Like, we say your name so much in association with, with winning. winning. <laughs> yep. So, first of all, congratulations on all of your success this year, and uh, it's great to have you in Studio B. Thank you. Thanks here. for having us. Okay, yeah, some background here. Uh, you have transferred away from two former BYU rivals, or I guess one former in Gonzaga and one still current in, in Utah. But why? we'll start with you, Wally. Why was BYU the right place for you leaving Utah and coming to Provo? Um, I would just have to say the culture here at BYU is just unlike anywhere I've ever been. And, um, you know, just surrounded by such great people and the opportunity to be part of such great sports programs and receive a great education. And Zach Gonzaga, man. Yeah, no, it was, it was, it was cool, cool to be there, but my, my mom went here, it runs in the family kind of, and, and uh, while I told me he was transferring when we were down in California together, and, and I saw that's a great opportunity to play, play with some friends and play with people of the same faith, and it's also, also probably a little better school than getting Gonzaga and and uh, here, here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's you guys, school too. You guys yeah. go yeah. way back then. Yeah. Like, so you you had an established relationship. You heard the news, and you're like, okay, let's do this thing at BYU. How far mm -hmm. back does this relationship go? Uh, we met about two summers ago in Newport Beach, and just started training together. And um, yeah, he was at Gonzaga. I had just been at Utah, and I was actually committed to UC Irvine. And then one day I was just at BYU hanging out with some friends, and I was like, oh, maybe this would be a better fit for me. And then. Yeah, I like to take credit for, for Zach coming to BYU. I kind of... <laughs> he recruited me. Yeah, I kind of recruited Zach <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Wally, on your bio, it says your dad played on the ITF tour for tennis mm -hmm. and the Uruguay Junior World Cup team. Tell mm -hmm. me what, tell me about those two. That's pretty good. Yeah, well, um, soccer and tennis have always been the sports in our family, and so I grew up playing both of those sports. In about middle school, I decided to just stick with tennis and... That's the what my dad did also. Is he from Uruguay? Yeah, his parents are from Uruguay. And, Very cool. Um, yeah, but he grew up here in Utah. Awesome. All right, when did you discover that this doubles duo was going to be special? Like, what, what was the moment? Was that two years ago? No, probably when probably you met, you're like, let's do this? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we, we were pretty good friends starting off, like, just when we first met two years ago. We started hitting a lot together, and, and I mean, I followed him to BYU, so it... There was, there was something there with our our dynamic and and I think we played a lot of tournaments and it kind of built it up and we went through different partners and eventually all clicked together at regionals and, and last year and it, it's been great since and yeah it, it, there's a good good team chemistry right there I'd say so yeah Zach were you always going to play college sports because uh, brother played tennis at Ohio State sister at Southern Virginia uncle swam at Arizona State uncle swam at UC Irvine cousin swam at South Dakota cousin played soccer at Pacific well, I, is there like I, family I, pressure here yeah I, I had to I had to live up to the to the, the family uh, the routine I guess you know what um, yeah. both of you are really tall like you're what six five yeah and then yeah. you're Pretty tall too, right? And six four. Six well, four. Six four. Yeah. Like, like I, I don't know tennis as much as Spence, who, who worked in Palm Springs. Are you guys tall tennis players? They're not yeah. John Isner, but they're tall, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, 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 I know. We're, I know. We're, that we're up there. Yeah. We're up there for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Do you guys play other sports? Like, you can play basketball, take on other, um, other people on camp, or how, like uh, soccer for you, that. maybe? I mean, I, I can maybe dunk if I worked on it for a little week or so. <laughs> maybe dunk at six five. Let's go, yeah. man. <laughs> it's a different twitchiness and yeah. a different set Slightly of muscles different. required mm -hmm. to your, be your great lateral tennis. movement is mm -hmm. yes, more defined. Yeah. Yeah. You've, again, you've already accomplished so, yeah. so much. In fact, uh, you both qualified for the ITA All-American Championships. What was that experience like for you? And, and the follow-up question there is, what's, what's next after everything you have accomplished? So we'll start with, what, what was that first experience like? Well, it was great um, going down there because all the best players in the country and teams are down there, and, and we got the opportunity to compete against them. And I mean, it was a little tough coming from, from Air Force 7,000 feet to Oklahoma, which is humid and, and sea level, but we adjusted pretty well, and, and it was just a great experience to be competing with those guys because it's kind of the stage you want to be on if you're, if you're playing tennis. Yeah. So, yeah. What's the elevation thing in tennis? Is that a thing? Like yeah. when people come from volleyball, they're like, oh, the ball sails, mm. football. I get tired in the fourth quarter. How is it in tennis? It makes a big difference because mm. the ball just goes to the air so much faster and it goes further. So when you come from sea level to high altitude, the ball is going to fly long. There is a difference. Yeah. 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 And then it's going to come up short when you go from 
altitude, the sea level. So even at Air Force, at 4,500 feet here, it's like 7,000 there. Yes. You guys were it's, like, oh, even we are affected? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, usually it's people come here, like, what's going on? And yeah. we're, we're going up there, and we have the same feeling that those people do when they come play us. So, but you guys are hitting 200 mile an hour serves. Yeah, no, it, was, it was great, though. Was no great. resistance in the air <laughs> whatsoever. Yeah. Good luck on that. <laughs> okay, so, Wally, what's next for you guys? What's the next attainable, reachable goal for you? Well, we qualified for Fall Nationals um, after winning our region, and that'll be first time for both of us going there, and that'll be in San Diego in November. So we're getting ready for that. San yeah, Diego in November. Yeah. yeah. I was just there over the weekend. Fantastic. Yeah, pretty nice. <laughs> well done. How many teams are there and, and represented? Like, how, what type of a group are you competing against? Um, I mean, it's definitely the top players. I'm, do, you, do you know how many? I think, I think it's only a draw of 32 teams okay. for doubles. Yeah. So not a, not a okay. huge bracket. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at yeah. you guys. Yeah. So yeah. Let's go. It's solid. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have, like, I know you want to win it. You want to win everything. Yeah. Okay. Do you have, like, a round that you have circled, like, it'd be nice if we could be, like, a Sweet 16 team or, like, get to the final I eight? Mean, sweet, sweet 16 would be great. But, yeah. uh, I mean, I mean, I think Wally and I both believe we can win. And, and I mean, it's, it's not going to be easy if, if we do, but it's definitely a, a goal in mind. I think it's a realistic, realistic goal for us. So I think it'd be – but Sweet 16 would be pretty sick. Yeah. Quarter, quarterfinals, I mean – as, as long as we win a few rounds, that'd be that'd be great. Cool. <laughs> now let's really look ahead for you guys. Does this translate to pickleball? These skills <laughs> mm, depends <laughs> who you ask. Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty brutal for me. I gotta, I gotta say. say, say, say you guys yeah. like pickleball? Do you know? We yeah, played a little bit. I played a little bit. You stay yeah. out of the kitchen. Uh, I, I I sometimes fall in it, you know. But <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, that's the, I'm learning. I'm that's learning. your post career. Like now you're with everybody else. You're like, you guys suck. Let's go. All right. Yeah. And when you asked about pickleball, does the game translate to ping pong? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So. Don't you think? So, I mean, let's my, go. This, this, this serves the best part of my game, and and it's not a serve in ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not great. for me. Not for me. Yeah. Hey, um, listen. You, you you're enjoying great success. We're super stoked for you. Can't wait to uh, hear how things go and watch things at nationals. Let's go, Sweet Sixteen yeah. and beyond, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's give you some luck. BYU Sports Nation Give karma you some good for that. karma. Yeah, okay. yeah. Thanks for Thank coming you. in. Nice yeah. to meet you guys. Nice Thank to meet you guys. guys. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.